one day after a major mishap was averted on board an Air India flight. This was the Varanasi Delhi flight. Times now confronted the CMD of Air India, but he evaded our questions. Uh, just listen in to his responses. Hello, Ani. So can we have a word with you regarding yesterday's incident, sir, regarding the 405 incident? That took place the Varanasi flight. Sir, 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 two lines. Tell me, sir, the basic issues, two basic issues that are being spoken about. Sir, that aircraft door that was jammed. Well, Madhav joins us live now for more on that. Madhav, uh, not too many answers coming forth from him. But uh, the fact is that Air India is trying to play down the incident entirely, talking about there being a fuel leak but no fire, as opposed to what eyewitnesses have said. And they've also talked about no injuries. Well, absolutely. In fact, Air India is saying there are no injuries, but the Minister of State for Aviation, Mahesh Sharma, as well as hospital authorities, where the patients were admitted, as well as uh, uh, the airline, uh, the airport authorities themselves, all telling us about that large number of injured as far as this particular incident is concerned. So clearly, of course, uh, Air India not doing its basic homework on this story, uh, issuing uh, really a statement without any basis, and in fact, telling plain lies in the public domain. That is really what is the takeaway from this entire episode. Uh, Really, of course, uh, trying to uh, uh, push facts, uh, not just uh, twist facts in its own uh, favor, but in fact completely trying to uh, uh, change the entire scenario as far as the injuries to passengers are concerned. Clearly something that is very, very insensitive and uh, at, at some level all the others not expected of a national carrier. Uh, of course, mm. there are huge issues with the serviceability, with the maintainability of these aircraft, uh, which are themselves 26 years old. But given that fact, should the airline be in fact flying such old aircraft is a big question given Absolutely. that pilot associations and others have already raised questions. In fact, more exclusive details coming up on just that very point, Amadav, the fact that this has been red flagged by the pilots themselves. When the plane um, uh, started at Kajarao, the flight was cancelled because there had been some hydraulic problem. Hmm. Uh, and uh, we got on the plane, they tried to take off, and the, and the pilot cancelled the takeoff, then sat on the ground for an hour while uh, the engineers fiddled with it, and then he told us they didn't have the spare part. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we were taken off the plane and the flight was cancelled. Okay. Half an hour later, for some mysterious reason, suddenly the announcement was made that the flight was taking off after all. And when we took off, he, made a, he thanked an engineer who was on the plane, he said, okay. uh, who had mended it. So I wrote an email to someone saying, I hope they haven't done some jugard and put in a washing machine part as a joke, uh, because, it all, because we'd been told definitively they didn't have the part. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was a little bit nervous throughout the, the journey, but we landed safely in, uh, in Baranasi and then got all the way to Delhi and we would, and, you know, seatbelts on and a juddery descent uh, again slightly nervous because already expecting there might be trouble mm -hmm. and then the second that we landed um, the, the pilot said in quite a low voice over the tannoy mayday mayday evacuate passengers immediately Okay. And then said it again, mayday, mayday, evacuate passengers immediately. And at that point, the lights went out. And then I, mean, I think a lot of passengers also didn't speak English. Right? It wasn't in Hindi. There was no announcement in Hindi. Mm. Um, so I was at, happened to be at the exit row. So I opened the exit. The, the door spun out as it was meant to do, but no chute appeared. Mm. So I looked down and it was a long way to the wing. and There was no way down from the wing. So I joined the rest of the passengers. Joined now by Minister of State for Civilization, Dr. Mahesh Sharma. Dr. Sharma, a huge incident that took place yesterday where a large number of passengers, about 30 to 35, we are told, were injured of 143 when this uh, landing gear, uh, you know, it collapsed. There, there was a fire, there was smoke. And in the sliding, in the process of evacuation, you know, only one door was working. It All of this really shows the shoddy state of maintenance of Air India's aircraft from landing gear to the emergency doors which are jammed. Uh, it really shows very poor maintenance of the aircraft and also that the passengers has not been taken care of. Uh, see, it is true that out of 144 passengers on board, and this fire was practically it was not a fire; it was an oil leak from the hydraulic system, and there were fumes. But it's good enough that um, the pilot took all precautions and he declared it an emergency, and emergency measures were taken. And all the injuries which has occurred to six uh, persons, uh, passengers, is because of the evacuation process out of which one door has slight problem but all others out of eight doors all other doors uh, opened immediately 
and uh, the sliding process during some senior people and other people got some minor abrasions and in injuries yeah, i agree with it but otherwise the safety measures the precautions and the process in which the pilot took the all the all the situation in under control i think it should be commended but definitely such events doesn't happen and we should take all precautions and we'll be more watchful uh, with taking our air india engineers and all those people more watchful but uh, sometimes it happens that this uh, hydraulic leaks is, is a problem which occurs sometimes but this was only after the landing of the process the, when the the plane touched the ground stopped and when the rims of the tires and then the that that got heated and some oil dropped into that caused some fumes but it should not have happened this way also sir pilots have been complaining that you know there are uh, multiple problems with these old a320 aircraft they need to be replaced but clearly of course the air india management has not been able to do that and that's why we are seeing these kind of incidents where more than 20 years old as far as these aircrafts are concerned hydraulic problems are repeatedly happening and in this case an emergency door also getting stuck do you think now it's high time that the management uh, lifted up the quality of the maintenance of these aircraft See, we are always concerned about the quality of not only our airport parts, but we are as a DGCA, we are responsible for the quality of the air.